When thinking about the inspiration for any project just as an artist, of course there are certain things that I am looking to offer and explore and expand upon as a singer. I am singing about a revolution. And really it comes down to just the messages of the material. Musically, what do the words share? What are they communicating? Um, on another level, just as a human being, what am I looking to share? What am I looking to communicate? And in many ways, I do feel that that is the inspiration for this project, History's Persistent Voice. Several years ago, the composer Jesse Montgomery and I started going through this anthology that was released just after the Civil War. These educators and musicologists went all across the United States to newly freed communities of people who had been enslaved and transcribed 136 lyrics and melodies along with notes on performance practice and stories about when these pieces were performed, under what context they were performed. Some of them at times of rebellion, others were during spiritual church services, others just out in the fields while people were working. With all of those themes of inspiration and aspiration and seeking one's own liberation through creative endeavors, I needed to find the composers that I, I felt could <laughs> represent this incredible diversity of voices and of experience. And they include Jesse Montgomery, Tanya Leon, Alison Logans Hall, Carolyn Yarnell, and Pamela Z. Yes, yeah, just an incredible group of black women who are also composers, who are tremendous musicians. Within this piece, there are world premieres, there are West Coast premieres, and also a new visual art um, that is being made by Hannah Kim. So Juliana and I, we wanted to like have an immersive environment for these like songs to come alive, like, both sonically and visually. What, what was important to us to have it like not a singular screen, something that is like a little bit more fragmented and scattered throughout the space. So it'll have this like big immersive feeling, um, yet it feels like very close to us at the same time. I work with mixed media. So depending on the project, sometimes I lean more heavily to the digital process or something that is more tangible and more analog or handmade. For this project, I want it to be organic as much as possible. Each song is very different and each individual piece embodies like different walks of life. And I'm trying to capture that emotional journey through each individual song. My through line is to try to embody the human experience as much as possible. After going through all of these songs, which, yes, acknowledge the violence and the trauma and the oppression that was very much a reality at that time, what was deeply inspiring for me to read and also to vocalize is an affirmation of life. All right. I just hope in San Francisco it will be this amazing moment of arrival for this project, which also will continue to have a life beyond it. Because with every new place that this piece is going to be performed, there is a new commission that accompanies it. I think it very much reflects um, how the piece came into existence and also then where it's going to go. Mm -hmm.